Hello, I'm Gerardo Mejia, better known as Rico Suave. Rico. Suave. Sometime in 1980, Rico. I discovered popping and, you know, dancing. And I noticed that girls love dancing. So when that happened and I started, you know, popping and break dancing at lunchtime and I saw that girls reacted, I told myself I was gonna be the best dancer that ever lived. And then I saw my niche. I saw MC Hammer came out, black people went nuts. I saw Vanilla Ice came out, white people lost their minds. And I said, I'm gonna take my peeps and I'm gonna take the brown people. And sure enough, it worked. You know, the first thing that happened was MTV picked it up and that video, you know, and boom, the rest was history. So please don't judge your book by its cover. There's more to being a Latin lover. It was an awesome time in my life. You know, that lasted about four years. I, I, I juiced Rico. I, I, I can tell you that I squeezed Rico Suave to the last drop. And, uh, you know, after that, it was tough for me to make a comeback. You know, to try to outdo that song was almost impossible. So uh, one day I said, man, it's enough. I was broke, you know, and I was holding back my family from succeeding because, you know, I wanted to make it again, and it was unfair. One day I said, I'm just, I'm just gonna work, man. So I went back to Interscope, and I told them, listen, I know the uh, crossover Latin market. I know how to work a Latin person into the English one. I said, let me do it. And uh, sure enough, you know, I think they felt sorry for me back then. They said, all right, man, you know, bring him in, whatever. And I came in, but the first person that I brought in and signed was Enrique Iglesias. I'm doing commercials for Rico Suave. Me cago en la p And it was a smash. I had the money, I had the women, I had the fame. It was awesome. And that's how I met Kat. My one woman that I love in the world. We've been married for 20 years. I have to be one of the luckiest women alive. I mean, you're so old and you look so good. In the show, you're gonna laugh. You're gonna cry with me because I become a crybaby. You're gonna see my wife, you know, being who she is. Like, I, I never wanted to, my wife is crazy, crazy white girl. Every day going, sweetheart, come on. <laughs> You're making us look crazy. You know, that, that, but that's just life, you know? And what you see in our TV show is real. This is Rico Suave. Oh. <laughs> what is that on top of your head? Look how cute that oh looks. I was fine. Yeah, you were fine. After your fine hair, look at no oh. hair. I'm looking to give out a message through this open arena that, you know, VH1 brings to me. With that said, I, you know, I gotta be cautious with my kids, making sure that, you know, that they're ready for what's coming. To me, it's a chance to, for the people to see that we're like any typical family, you know? At the end of the day, the message that goes out through our TV show is like, family is tight, you stay together, no matter what. I was an adulterer and I was awful to my wife. I'm just telling you guys, fight for your families. My family, we've been through some craziness. I can tell you that as, as my life, looking back at the old Gerardo and where I'm at right now, man, I, I'm thankful for all the stuff I've gone through. I wouldn't change anything. I've, I've tasted from the highest and I tasted from the lowest. And I can tell you that now I can really value what's real, you know? I thought at one time money and women, that was everything. And I was wrong. You know, family, God, you know, faith, love, everything that's invisible, that's, that's what's real. You have more wrinkles than when I married you. They gotta call me Wrinkles Suave Says. <laughs> <laughs> this is Suave Says.